All right, next game, we've got Chicago, Winnipeg, 11-12. Winnipeg minus 180, total six shaded to the under. And boy, I'm really interested over the total in this game at six. But you look at these uh, totals trends for these two teams on the road and home. Chicago has been a big time over team on the road. Winnipeg, of course, I've mentioned this many times all season, a really strong over team at home. Sets up well for an over, but this this Winnipeg situation with Paul Stastny kind of bothers me a little bit. Uh, we'll have to see what's going to happen with his status tonight. Uh, he is currently listed as questionable lower body injury uh, that he suffered uh, or they kept him out of the last game, actually, against the uh, Nashville Predators. Not sure if he's going to play tonight. Uh, Michael Hutchinson, uh, a situation where he got injured last game. Connor Hallibuck. Uh, had to come in in relief against uh, the Nashville Predators, a game the Jets lost uh, three to one. But I like the setup. You got Winnipeg that uh, you know played, got some shots, got some chances, couldn't bury them. You know the last couple games they've had some opportunities to score goals. They've sort of you know been silenced a little bit finally. This high potent offense, but back home against a, a suspect team like Chicago. Uh, especially defensively, their goaltending is suspect. Whether it's Forsberg or Berube, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't trust either one of those guys uh, in terms of trying to stop a team like Winnipeg. So I'm very much interested, even though I know Winnipeg's cashed six straight unders going into this game. I'm very interested in the over. Again, Chicago, a good over team on the road. Winnipeg, a good over team at home. I do want to check into the Stastny situation, though. But for me, I'm still likely going to go ahead and go over the total uh, in this game. Alex B. Smith, Chicago, Winnipeg, go for it. What you got here? Yeah, I got to hit you with the uh, old not so fast, my friend. I'm looking at this under here because these two teams, for some reason, they're in the same division. But they're not really rivals. It's not like the old school Blackhawks Jets of, of the of the 80s and 90s. But these two teams get really physical with each other whenever they play. And it's uncharacteristic of the Hawks, who, who aren't really that physical of a team. And even for the Jets now, they've become more of a skill-based team. They weren't the you know the big bruising team that they were you know two, three seasons ago. So uh, for whatever reason, there's bad blood there. And it seems where we see a lot of hits and you know, sometimes a lot of uh, dumb penalties taken too. So obviously when you look at that, if, if you see dumb penalties, you get more powerful chances that would help to the over. But here it's just, uh, you got the Jets five straight games under the total. They've scored three goals or, or fewer in six straight games. He said the Hawks, uh, you know, they're Jekyll and Hyde, not only on defense, but of course, offense too. They've got a couple injury issues as well. Anthony Duclair out indefinitely with a knee injury. Brandon Saad uh, is questionable for this game. Two guys that have been uh, quiet for the most part, but are, you know, key pieces in, in the dwindling Hawks offense right now. Uh, and like, there's a laundry list of names that are questionable tonight for the, for the jets. Uh, you know, so you kind of wonder, all right, this is a game. Yeah. The jets, you know, they're just eight points back in Nashville for the division lead. Uh, you know, chances are, they're not going to really have a, you know, have to make a big run to catch up with them playing a Hawks team. That's completely out of it. Uh, they might, you know, take the, take it a little bit easier in this game. Uh, I'd like, I think the under here is uh, the play, especially at six. Yeah, I'd be careful laying minus 180 with Winnipeg here, too. I mean, that loss against Nashville, that was their last stab at the division. And, and to lose that and now return home against a feeble Chicago team, you wonder if where their heads are for this hockey game, Winnipeg. So this is not a night I'm interested in Winnipeg in any form, the puck line. Like I said, I was interested over the total, but you're right. There's a lot of injuries. You mentioned Saad and Duclair on the Chicago side. I kind of want Stastny in there for Winnipeg. So this is a maybe, maybe not. This is a we'll see. It's a lean right now. I, I, I was planning on going ahead with it, but I want to see these injury situations play out no more after the morning skate. Dana Lane, Chicago, Winnipeg, what do you have for in this game for us? Yeah, I don't, I don't love this either, but I do like the plus right price. So um, obviously it's been a disappointing year in Chicago. And I, I still think, as we said last time, I still think they have plenty of guys that can scare you. I mean, anytime I ha I see, I still see Taves there and I still see Kane there. And I, and, 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 you know, I mean, they, in their last 10 games or so, I mean, if you go back in a recent form, I mean, they've, they've been as good as you could have ever expect from this team. And uh, you know, it, as far as a team that's motivated, and, and we know at this point in time, especially for Chicago, I mean, this is a team that is right up against the, the salary cap. In fact, I think they have like $6,000 under the cap right now. I don't know how they're going to maneuver that, but there's a lot of guys here that are uh, that are trying to show that they belong in this organization. And, you know, and, unless they can... Chicago decides to get rid of their two top heavy contracts or they can find a way to uh, to, to alleviate themselves by getting rid of, of Seabrook. 
Um, you know, I, I don't know how they're going to manage this cap going into the next year because there just isn't a lot of guys, uh, UFAs or RFAs that are going to give them some space if they let them go. But, um, you know, they still seem pretty aggressive to me. I, I don't know, Alex, how you feel about that, but I even see defensemen getting up into the play. I see, I see them, you know, working hard and, you know, nobody's trying to tank games or wait till next season. And, and then on the defensive end, I just, I really just don't think that they have the horses to compete on a nightly basis. And, you know, they're giving up almost three and a half goals per per game, especially in the last, last month defensively. I, I don't think that they've played very well as, uh, as you know, we might expect them to be at this time of year. Um, but I think that there is going to be a sense of opportunity for young guys. I like when there's injuries, honestly, if I'm betting the over, I like young guys coming in and giving 110% and hoping that maybe they'll get their chance. I like it, the injuries for the sake of the fact that um, it might create turnovers and create opportunities. I don't get too high or too low about, about injuries because uh, I just think that you're going to get a guy that's replacing those guys that are going to be absolutely hungry. Um, but to me that this is, this is a Jets team that I still rarely play under the total. I don't think I'm going to start tonight. I don't love the play, but if you're going to give me a plus price, I definitely can see the Jets at least in that three to four range. So, if, if, or, or four range at least. I got to get them to four if you like Winnipeg. Um, but uh, could Chicago score score three to get us over? Yeah, I can. I can see that scenario. So I think it's worth a play uh, with the plus plus price. But again, it's not my not my best bet on the uh, uh, on the Ice Guys show. All right, so yeah, so it kind of sounds like me with the over in this game, Dan. It's a lukewarm uh, over recommendation yeah. with the uh, Chicago Winnipeg game tonight uh, in this one. Alex on the other side and the under, and he's actually brought up the points about all the injuries and uh, again a couple skill guys for Chicago up. But again, and I'd be leery about Winnipeg laying this price again. Like I said, uh, they they've lost that game against Nashville. That's their last shot at maybe catching them for the division. They're now seven points back. They're not catching them now. It's or eight points back. It's not going to happen. So again, this is another team where you have to gauge where's the motivation uh, to keep going and playing hard moving forward for Winnipeg. Now with the division out of reach, we'll see. It's a very tricky spot for Winnipeg. Uh, they've played big games, big opponents lately. Now you come home, face Chicago. We'll see if they have the uh, uh, mental fortitude to look, get past that and still get the job done. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.